All right, hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please inform me if you have any difficulty. Today our topic is maybe a topic many people don't like to talk about it, but for me I don't see a reason not to talk about it. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I will be waiting for the Muslims to try to stop my broadcast as they do always. Let us see. If you can do it, let me know. So, death, hmm. death, you see, um, when you are a naive person, people, they can tell you all kinds of stories, and all stories can be true, as soon as you are a person who believes in anything. It's not really about if it's true or not, it's about what you believe. If somebody give you a dirt and he, you believe it's food, you eat it. You see, a child, when he is a baby, and he is uh, creeping in his, you know, he don't know how to walk, he don't know what he's doing. Anything he find in his way, he put it in his mouth. Uh, the reason, he is so innocent to the point he cannot recognize anything, and he think it's good. And many of us can be children, growing by body, but, you know, still we have a brain of a child. If we ask Muslims if there's any Muslims are listening, is death a person? Is death a person? Or he is not a person? As I know, death is something happened to us. Uh, it's not a person. His name is death. I mean, death... <laughs> How death can be a person? And how in the world somebody can convince somebody that death is a person? Like, so imagine that this guy in front of us, this is Mr. Death. And this is exactly what Muhammad, he said to his followers. If we go and check the hadith, we will find the following. Allah Messenger said one day, in the day of resurrection, death will be brought forward in the shape of a black, white, and white ram. Then a call uh, maker will call, O oh, people of paradise. Then people of paradise will stretch their neck to see carefully what's, who is there. The caller will say, do you know who is this? Do you know who is this? They will say, yes, death. And then, just to make the story short, you can read it yourself, death will be brought in front of them, in front of those people of paradise, and he will say to them, death is your enemy. For you, there is eternity, there is no death. In order for Allah to make people live for eternity, he have to do a job, what he will do. He will bring death and he will slaughter him. So we die according to Muhammad's story because of a person, he is death. It's not because we are a human can be killed or a human we can die for sickness, heart attack. You see, all kind of, uh, uh, all reasoning of death is involved either health, you know, you get older, and then your body parts don't function correctly, or even you can die earlier because simply one of your body parts did not function correctly too. Or accident, or car accident, or somebody killed you. But this is not a person to slaughter. But according to the intelligence and the logic of Muhammad, death is a person. Am I heard, guys? We are using a free software, what we can do. So sometimes this free software uh, cause a problem. Uh, just, you know. All right. No voice. No. Anytime you have a problem with the sound, just refresh. All right. Refresh the sound. Refresh the page and it will work. We are using a free software. 
Uh, additional to that, uh, the beautiful uh, uh, Muhammad, and they try to uh, to stop me from broadcasting because you know I'm causing a very bad damage to the cult, and a lot of people are leaving Islam. They like it, they don't. Whatever you try to do, you see, you you try to uh, flood my IP. You try, you do whatever you want to do. If you think you can stop me, you are dreaming. In the worst scenario, I can just record a video and post it. I mean, I can go to Twitch. May Allah Twitch you. <laughs> anyway, so going back to the topic. In the logic of Muhammad, death is a person. And as you see, he is a shape of a ram. I don't know why a ram. I mean, what? what? Ah, because we have to slaughter a ram. So here you notice how somebody, he claimed to be a prophet, he can fool you. So now Muhammad claimed now because we are going to kill death, you will live forever. It's not because Allah will make you live. I thought eternity it's because God he decided to give you different life. You see, when we are going to, uh, uh, we will be in heaven, we as a Christians, our body will be different. We will not be we, we will be, we will be new creatures. So there is no death for a very simple reason. You know, uh, God made us uh, like when he when he kicked Adam from uh, from heaven, he made him vulnerable for sickness and illness and death. But when you go to heaven, and the funny the Muslim they say that if God wants something, he say be is going to be. But as you see here, Muhammad always he exposed his God because if Allah is God. Do he need to kill death to make us live for eternity? You know what I mean? If Allah truly is a God, who need such a story to believe that death is a person, we kill him, and then we live? So now, based on this story, if we can find death, we kill Mr. Death, and we live. All of us, we will never die. And here you notice that Muhammad he have a you know a lack of intellect. Allah will bring death and he will slaughter him. Question why he wanna slaughter him? If he is a person, who is the one who created this person, Mr. Death? Allah. Who is the one who gave him that job? Allah. Why Allah will slaughter somebody while serving him? You know what I mean? If you are a great employee of somebody, is that how this employee he will reward you? After all the service Mr. Death he did to Allah, Allah will kill him, slaughter him. What kind of logic? So if we are assuming that death is a person and this person is exist because Allah he made him exist and Allah he created him why Allah, Allah want to slaughter him but he did <laughs> you know what I mean what is what is the what is the guilt Mr death he have the muslim they say to us that Allah is god of justice where is justice that you are going to kill someone he is serving you since the beginning of time he never stopped working hard how many billion he need to kill every uh, few years how many billion he slaughter or he killed every like uh, until now so is that how allah he reward his best employee and all the death of mankind is responsible by one person that's it how powerful this person well, he can be everywhere i mean he is in pakistan now taking the soul of somebody and he is in uh, uh, jamaica taking the soul of somebody in the same time you know what i mean
The second you start asking questions, it's the same second you notice that Islam is invalid. Invalid cult. This man, he keeps, you know, making a statement, saying his stories, and those stories, none of them make sense. Same time, look, Muhammad, he said to the people who live in heaven, for now, from now on, you will live forever. <laughs> what if this guy, he run away? Because if you are, you are saying to us now that eternity is not in the hand of Allah, it is in the hand of this Mr. Death. Correct? It's not Allah who give life. It's not Allah who take life. It's not Allah who give life. It is Mr. Death. Actually, what we learn from the Quran that there is somebody, his name is Isa, supposed to he is Jesus. He is the one who give life. And there is someone here, Mr. Death, is the one who take life. So what is exactly the job of Allah? Do we have any Muslim? And by the way, how you can kill death? <laughs> you know, that means death is alive. You know what I mean? If we are going to kill death, <clears throat> I mean, it's like saying I'm going to burn the fire. I'm going to make the water wet. How you can kill death? His death. Is he alive? This guy death. Is he is he death? Is he dead or is alive? If he is death, how you can kill him? So, you know, the the more we uh, uh we we like we read and uh, the funny every page in those books if you flip them in those yellow 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 books you will find amazing stupid stories so muhammad is trying to find the reason how we will live eternity and how some people will be by the way eternity there's eternity there's two eternity eternity in paradise and there's eternity in hell and look what muhammad is said Eternity for you, no death. So if Allah did not kill Mr. Death, Mr. Death will, will make them die again? To people in heaven and people in... <laughs> now, here we, we need to remember something. Uh, you know, always we have to connect the dots so we can love more. Anyone remember something I mentioned yesterday? Who remember the story we mentioned yesterday? Who remember it? Let us see. Yesterday I said something very funny. A story mentioned by Muhammad. <clears throat> Anyone remember? Let us see if somebody... Muhammad in this hadith, you see, Muhammad is a person, he cannot stop talking. And the more he talk, the more he do poo-poo. Uh, Isn't it you who said that death, there's an angel, it's called the angel of death. So what do you mean I'm going to kill death? This is the same guy, his name is Muhammad. The hadith is authentic, rep repeated in many places that this is Sahih al-Bukhari. That Allah, he sent the angel of death. So the one he will slaughter is an angel. Why you want to slaughter an angel? The angel of death was sent to Moses. And when he went to him, Moses slapped him severely. Spoiling one of his eyes. Boing, boing, boing. 
True story, by the way. So this madman, Muhammad, each time he talk, he do poo poo. He forgot what he said in different place. So now he is talking about that death will be slaughtered, but this is mean you are going to slaughter an angel. And how you can slaughter an angel and why? Did he commit sin? Did he do something wrong? Or because he is out of job? I mean, imagine what kind of an employee Allah is or employer. He slaughtered the employee for he is, there's no need for him no more. Give him different job. Let him to be in charge in the uh, karaoke in the heaven. How in the world anyone can believe in such a thing? Can you? So, the angel of death, he came to Musa. Musa, Musa did the brosley stuff like ching ho ho he ha The eye of the angel came out. And by the way, why the angel have an eye? Allah have eyes, I have eyes, angels have eyes. And the eye of the angel came out like what? Allah did not. It, 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 what kind of angel? You see, that Muhammad, he says that one angel can destroy a nation. What kind? This guy, Musa, what he do? I mean, what he do for a living? What kind of hand he have? He hit the angel. He make his eye came out, come out. Why? Allah did not put enough screws there. Uh, get him some cr crazy glue. Nobody can take it out. Trust me. So angel of death is coming to kill Musa, and Musa he slap him, and then Musa he changed the day of his death. I mean, look at this madness, guys. I don't know if you notice how many mistakes in this issue here. Because if Allah is the one who decides when people die, and Allah is the one who sent death, which is an angel death. And he decided that that said Musa will have to die now because he is sending him there to take his life. So then Musa don't want to die. I mean, is it up to me? So if angel of death he come to me, I stab his face, and is angel of death is a person will appear in front of me, so I can fight with him. I mean, what this guy is talking about? The angel went back to Allah, and he said to him. You sent me to a slave who does not want to die. There is nobody who want to die. I mean, look at this story. Okay, Musa is, Musa is a Jew. Let us imagine this. The angel came to Musa. Musa, I am the angel of death. Musa, he said, Habibi, <laughs> Habibi, Habibi, death. Get, 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 get to me. This angel of death is an idiot. He trusted Musa, you know. So he got a closer. He's get, 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 Come on, come on, come on. He hit him his eyes, and now the angel he cannot take the life of Musa. I mean, what kind of angel this angel is? And then the angel he hold his eye in his hand, and he go crying to Allah. I mean, is that? Is that how it work? If this is the case, you know what? I'm. I have. I have. I have a collection of guns. The angel he will come to me, and not only I will, uh, be, you know, take his eye. I will make him shish kebab. You know, he he go nine one one will take him to Allah, and Allah will do surgery, and like Allah then. When they when he went back, he told him what happened to him. So Allah he restored his eye and, and said, Go back. <laughs> That's it, restored his eye. Shouldn't you take Musa to jail? Isn't it, what kind of Musa is this Musa? Isn't this Musa you taught him eye for an eye? Well, the angel did not take his eye. Why why Musa's taking the eye of the guy? <laughs> 
Ah, Musa's he was practicing eye for an eye. <laughs> so, according to his hadith, the death is an angel. According to the other hadith, the death is a goat. It's a ram. This is what happened when you are a liar. You don't remember what you said last time. So your story will not match with the story mentioned previously. So now what we learn, uh, either Muhammad, he have to admit now that angels are goats. Ram. And they have a color. Look at the color, black and white. Actually, it's not really black and white. Amlah is the kind of a, like in you know, a gray, not the black and white. How we can believe in such a madness? Do we have any Muslim have any uh, any comment? Any Muslim? Any Muhammadan? And you know, I find it very funny and very silly that we have an angel he will be slaughtered for doing his job. You see, like if this angel he did something wrong, I would say, okay, this angel was doing something not right. So Allah decided to punish him. But this guy is serving you all his life. Why you want to kill him? And how you can kill death? Are you, are you going to send shaitan to hellfire too? Well, shaitan is made from fire. How you can burn fire? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? What will happen to the angel? Allah will kill him. He will slaughter him. He will behead his head. And the Muslim for sure, they will scream, Takbir! I mean, in Islam, everything will lose his head. Even the angel. I, 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 will be not sur I will not be surprised if the Muslims, they behead Allah later. You never know. They go there. They find that the wives of Allah are better looking than their wives. They make a revolution to take his wife. Because this is what Muhammad taught the Islam is. Attack the neighbor so we can get the blondie. Isn't this what Muhammad said? Attack the Romans so we can get the blondie girls. Bani al-Asfar. Allah, he go to sleep. The Mujahideen, they will come to the bedroom of Allah. He have a beautiful woman. They are very white. And you know, they have an obsession with white women. So they will do uh, takbir to Allah. And Allah lose his head. What is this? Everything will be slaughtered. Is Allah going to slaughter Jibreel too? Because he will go to Jibreel, he have no job no more. What is the job of Jibreel and then at that time? Hmm? Any Muhammadan have anything to say? So guys, is the quality better now for the broadcast? I hope it's working good, you know. Uh, we just get a new equipment today, delivered to me by the angel of death. <laughs> CP, I'm going to take your life. I said, hey, okay, get it closer, get it closer, get it closer. Get it closer, just... And then the angel, he went back to Allah, and until now he did not come back. I never heard of somebody, angel of death will not take his life because he don't want to die. You know, I think nobody want to die. How we can believe in such a madness? How, how you can be an adult? Whatever your age is, 18, 20, 21, 30, 70, how in the world you can accept that? Hmm? 
Tani Muhammadan have a comment? You know, like after we finish broadcast, you will see the comment. Coward, we challenge you. Yeah, you are right. Not even one Muhammadan dare to debate me. Answer, 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 answer. Did you say to the Muslim answer? Yeah. Coward. He's afraid. Terrified. So, you are a Muslim. You don't want to think. That's your business. But we have a brain. Those stories is not even good for children. God, he restored the angel of the angel eye. And by the way, I mean, uh, uh, Muhammad, he knew the story from who? I mean, was Muhammad there when Musa, the angel, came to him? Who told him this story? If you tell me the angel told him this story, why Muhammad did not beat the angel the same as Musa did so he can live longer? I mean, now we know what to do. Musa is a prophet, and actually Muhammad supposedly is higher a prophet than Musa. So the angel of death will come to Muhammad. Muhammad... <laughs> And then the angel will go back to Allah, and then uh, he will say to Allah, you send me to Muhammad, and Muhammad don't like to die. And then the angel will send, Allah will send, they will restore the eye of the, Muhammad for sure, he will take his, his both eyes, not only one eye. Come on, Muhammad is strong. He used to do boom boom for all his wives in one hour, 15 minutes. So why Muhammad did not do that? Anyone remember what is the last thing Muhammad did before he died? Who remember? What is the last thing Muhammad he did before he died? Maybe if the admin they have the hadith for you, they can post it in the chat. Anyone remember? <clears throat> yeah, but what he did, what he did before he died? What he what what is the last act he did before he died? Poison? No, no. There is something he did before. I know he died by poison. No problem. But what he did before? He piss. I mean, that's it. So Musa did the beat the angel and Muhammad. The only thing the angel allowed him to do before he died to piss to urinate. So what happened now? The angel came to Muhammad. Says Muhammad, I'm going to take your life. Muhammad, he said, can I, can I unzip? We said, what? Can I unzip because I need to piss? Uh, now? Yeah, can I unzip? This is what Muhammad did. So Musa did beat the angel. And he sent him back in the emergency room. And he lived longer. And Muhammad, all what he can do, in the front of this angel, he wanna be. Is that the <clears throat> best scenario? Can I be, please, before I die? Can I be? The angel, like what? You, I, you can't be serious, are you? There is no way you are serious. And the angel are standing there waiting for Muhammad to finish. You know? Come on, Muhammad, finish it. What is this? A drop after drop? I have work to do. Come on. Muhammad trying to delay. Look how smart he is. He want to live longer. You know, he told the angels, I want, I have one wish only. I want to urinate before I die. And now he's taking his time. And the angel like, oh boy. Oh man. I don't think he will finish today. Finish it. I have to go. You told me, you promised me, you are going to let me urinate. Yeah, but this is not a urine. This is like a drop by drop. Hey, what I can tell you, what I can do. This is what I have. Hello. <laughs> so 
So, okay, Mohammed, come on, this, that's enough. Now, come on, it's time for a different move. So look what happened here. Did the did the admin pause the hadith for the? Uh, don't make me go and look for it. Anyone pause the hadith? Nobody have it. Okay, nobody have the hadith about Muhammad. He did pee before he died. Look like nobody have it. Okay. Well, let me try to find it then, because I don't want Muslim to say. Uh, <clears throat> Um, he said something not true because you know you will say like where how hmm? uh, <clears throat> let us see I'm trying to find the hadith Here we go. And it's Sahih al-Bukhari. So Muslim cannot say this is weak and, you know, this is good. You know, you know, you know the stories. You know, okay, do you know who is the one? Can you give me the Senate? Can you give me the Senate? Like the Muslim, then you're two, two Arabic words. They say, do you know the Senate? The Senate, what Senate? What Senate? This is your book. This is your story. Give me the Senate. And I'm not going to give you the Senate. You give it. When, when the angels of Jibreel come to you, ask him for the Senate. When Muhammad, he was dying in the presence of Aisha, the wife of Muhammad, she mentioned what happened. What is the last thing he did? He asked for a wash basin. Uh, this is not the hadith. Here, you see here, they don't say that he, he pissed in it. Let me, let me find you the other hadith. Hold on. This one, it doesn't mention that what, they, what he did with it. Um, we want to find the hadith where... Here we go. See, in the other hadith, they make it disappear. So she asked, she, he asked her for a container to urinate. And then he went and I don't know what she meant. He went to flush it. Is that his private part or him? I'm not sure because he was urinating. So the prophet, the last thing he did, it was urination. Right? I don't know. I think if I'm a Muslim, the last thing I will do, I will follow the Prophet's steps. I will ask for a container to urinate so I can die peacefully. Because I think if you... Uh, now I know why the Prophet, he want to urinate. Because, you know, Muhammad, he have high knowledge, you know. Do you remember Muhammad, he said that uh, the most of the punishment of the grave is because of the urine of the uh, urine? Yeah, which is, makes sense. Muhammad saying, urination is the main cause of the punishment in the grave. Which, as you know, the story, uh, two angels will come to you and they will ask you three questions. Who is your God? You say Allah. If you say a Christian prince or somebody else, or, you know, okay? Don't say Christian prince. A Christian prince is just a man, you know? Then that your God is Jesus. Then they will, they will beat you. Hardly. With the big hammer made from steel. And then they will ask you, what is your religion? Don't say Christian. Say uh, uh, Islam. <laughs> because if you say Christian, they will hit you. And you will go 70 meters down. And the third the question will be, they will show you a picture of a Prophet Muhammad and they will say to you, uh, who is this? If you don't give, if you say this is a Christian prince, they will hit you. Whatever picture they show, they show you, say Muhammad. Even if it's a, it's, a, it's a picture of a zarraf or even a cow. 
say Muhammad because this is the answer isn't it amazing by the way the poor Muhammad are now trying to flood my IP so they can uh, they can take my uh, broadcast down but sadly it's not working I mean come on I'm really disappointed for you few they are, they are doing like I found you see in the last uh, in, in the last uh, uh, broadcast 158 flood and we collected them all them and we reported them so we can trace those people who they are trying to do that uh, to my broadcast legally you know <clears throat> I mean what's wrong with you you cannot debate me you cannot answer me silence me why you flood my IP hello this is the best you can do so we cannot answer him we cannot debate him they try to stop me from broadcasting but even if you stop me I will make a video and post it what a big deal people still will watch it and people will love very simple and by the way I agree with this urination thing uh, I will tell you why you see if you like most of you your English is funny funny you know you don't know how to read English sorry sadly it's to say but anyway I'm going to open a class uh, to teach uh, uh, especially people from England how to read English you see your in Alhamdulillah this is the code of Allah your in you know like look at this hold on your what I'm typing in Arabic what is that your in mashallah mashallah what does that mean when you do your in you are in the grave and then they will come to you you are in and this is the proof of the theater and this is the clear of proof and difference that the one who created the English language is Allah and the Muslim otherwise you tell me how it come and it come to be true All right so you are in the grave and now those who they are in the grave in the grave they will make a nation now look look with me look look huh? nation you are in nation so all those who they they have this issue Allah will make them a nation and he will punish them all so you are in nation take a beer what this intelligent and all of this story because a Jewish woman she said that punishment of the grave is because of a urine Muhammad he heard the story from the Jew he start repeating it whatever the Jew they say Muhammad he take it if the Jew, the Jew, any, anything, anything, the Jew, they say Muhammad, he take it as it's a must be true. This is why Muhammad he hate the Jews very much because they get him busted. They used to do those things for him. And they, they trick him. They go to him. They say something in front of him, and he, he the fool, the fraud. He right away copy it and he start talking about it and he believe in it. The story in the in the all the stories in the chapter of the caves is is a stolen either from the Jews or from the Christians right they ask Muhammad about Zilqarnayn who is Zilqarnayn Muhammad he come to add a story but this is a story published by a, by a guy from Syria he is the one who wrote the story written in the in the in the uh, Aramaic and written in Greek language and published all over 400 years before Muhammad about the man with the two horn and what he do but it's a fantasy it's about a real person but it's a fiction story which means everybody at that time knows that this is a fiction story the foolish Muhammad he took it as real and he say Allah told him Uh, Hubu, Hubu saying to us Christians, read your Bible. Okay, we are reading our Bible, my friend. 
Hmm? We are. And right now I'm afraid. You see, I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid from the punishment of urine. It's really horribly scary. I'm not going to urinate no more. I mean, look what urine can cause us. Don't drink, don't you? Very simple. If you don't want to urine, don't drink. So, the Jewish woman, she came to Aisha, she told him the punishment of the grave. Aisha, she accused her that she is a liar. Aisha, she is not really, she was smarter than uh, the rest of them. You can tell she's smart. That's why she got Muhammad busted. She said to him, well, and, uh, 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 and you who claim to be a prophet, claim to be. She knew he's not. So, look here what happened. The Jewish woman, she came to Muhammad, uh, wife Aisha. And she told her about all, most of the punishment of the grave, the, the torment of the grave is because of urine. I said, which means Aisha, you are lying. You are what? Lying. Why she said that to her? Because it sounds stupid. Number one. Number two. Muhammad never said that before. Muhammad, he came out from his room. He found those two women speaking about something and their, their voice is loud. And Aisha saying to her, you are a liar. So Muhammad says, what is it? What's, what, why your voice is up? What's happening? Huh? She, told, she told him, Aisha, that this woman, she said that the, the torment of the grave, there's a torment in the grave. And it's because of urine. And then Aisha, she said, the prophet, he agreed. And he says, she told the truth. She told the truth. She spoke the truth. And after day, that day, he never offered any prayer, but he said, Allahumma protect us from the punishment of the grave. Muhammad never before that day mentioned the punishment of the grave. Never. After that day, not a single day, Muhammad, he prayed without saying, Allah protect us from the punishment. So why Muhammad did not mention that before? And how come it's became important as part of his prayer now? Because Muhammad, he never learned this story before. This is the first time he hear it. He like it. A Jewish woman, she is saying it. It must be true. It must be true. Thank you, everybody. Those who they are good. Good morning from Indonesia. Good morning from Malaysia. Good morning from everywhere. Love you all. Thank you. Thank you for the good morning. Here it's uh, it's nine fifteen, and we have a snow outside. Who wanna play with the snow? Those who they are uh, living in Indonesia. I think you. What about I? I you know I have an idea. What about you guys? I give you my house, and you give me your house in in uh, in, uh, in in Indonesia. What what do you think? <laughs> I could not walk today. The snow is going in my eyes. I mean, you don't, you can't open your eyes. The snow is so strong to the point it's going in your eyes. Oh boy. However, even if the snow was strong, the only worry I have is urine. I don't care for snow. I don't care for ice. I don't care how cold it is. What I care for from now on, I will never pray without seeking refuge by Allah from the torment of the grave because of urine. Because it's really dangerous. Hmm? Right? Uh, truth seeker, he is saying, the Quran correct the, the mistakes of the Bible? <laughs> like what? <laughs> You're a prophet, even he cannot quote the name of the father of Abraham correctly. You're a prophet, he thinks that Mary is the daughter of Amran. And Amran is the father of Moses. And that would make her sis the sister of Aaron. And you are telling me that your Quran correct in the Bible? What a silly. A truth seeker, why you don't call me? Guys, do you think Truth Seeker will call me? Do you like to call? I will take your call, no problem. The Quran correct the Bible. 
Okay, hold on. If the Quran correct the Bible, then how Allah in the Quran says to the Christians, you should follow the Bible. So he is asking them to follow the, the, the wrong Bible? <clears throat> huh? When Muhammad, he was saying to the Christians, follow the Bible. Was talking about what? A Bible in their hand? Or a Bible is not exist? Chapter 5, verse number 68 says, O people of the book, which means Christians and Jews, you have no ground to stand upon unless you stand by the law and the gospel. Okay, hold. If the Bible is full of errors as you claim, how foolish to say to them, follow the book of error. Because this is the book they have since then until now. So your God saying to them, follow the book of error? He said to them, you have nothing to stand on unless you have, you follow the Torah and the gospel. And the top of that, your God Allah, because he's silly, he call us people of the book, but you just said book of error. So how we are people of the book, which mean a book sent by him. I mean, if we are following a false book, why you call us people of the book? That's stupid. That's very stupid. The second you call us people of the book, you are calling us that we are following the true book. Otherwise, how we earn the name? <clears throat> it's like saying to our brother Sam Shamoon, the guy with the hair. He used to have hair, he lost it. What hair? So, Either that at that time they have the book, and this is the same book we have until now, and that make your prophet a, a fraud, and your God is a fraud. Or Allah do not know, and you know, that the book of the Christians is wrong. Allah is telling the Jews and the Christians, follow what is from Allah? Okay, he's, <laughs> you see, he's saying to them, follow the gospel. So if you are saying the gospel does not exist, you see, he's not saying follow what Allah, he's saying follow the gospel, follow the law of the Torah, and follow the gospel. He named them by name, a Torah to an Injil. The second you say the name of the book, it's mean you have to follow the name of the book, that's it. And by the way, why the book of the Christian called Injil? Why your God Allah is using a Greek word to describe the book of Jesus? I thought Jesus, he came as Islam teach, as a prophet for the Jews. So he's a prophet for the Jews, but his book is in a Greek language. Why? Calamera. So he was speaking Greek to the Jews, and the Jews speak Hebrew. Hello? It's very clear proof that Muhammad is a fraud because the second you say the word Injil, that means Muhammad is speaking about the book which is written in the Greek language. Not a book written in Hebrew, for sure. Not a book written in Aramaic, for sure. So why Allah, he did not know about the original book which is supposed to should be in Hebrew, not even in Aramaic. But he heard about the Greek word in jail because he's a fraud. Actually, you know, I challenge any Muslim. And look, the verse after it says that those who they are Christians and those who they are Jews, they are going to go to heaven. And he's saying that in the time of Muhammad. You are ignoring the Quran as whole Quran. Tell us uh, in 275 and 513, 14. Okay, hold on. You are the one who mentioned that. So I will go to 513, 14 as long as we are in the same chapter and people will laugh at you. People will laugh at you. Because how he is saying to them, follow the book if they don't have a book. This is number one. Number two. Allah proving to us that he is the devil because in verse number 14 it says Allah he will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians 
Allah will not guide them. Allah will not convert them to Islam. Allah will string them with hatred and enmity until judgment day. And how we can prove this is very easy to be false. Because if Allah is targeting the Christians to be people of hatred and enmity, well, Christians are the most people who spread love, number one. Charity, number two. Number three, if somebody converted to Islam, how we can solve it with this problem? If somebody he claimed to be Christian and then he became a Muslim, but Allah he promised that Allah will string them who the Christians until judgment day how he converted to Islam, how he escaped the curse of Allah. You see, Allah he made a promise he will string them with hatred until the judgment day. How come your God could not defeat Jacob? That's a very silly question, my friend. You are just being a kid. The story about God and Jacob, it's about God examining the patient of Jacob. It's not about defeating. However, how come your God could not defeat Moses, who did beat the angel of death, and he took his eye off his eye, his head? If God, the Muslim, they say, if God, he wants something, he say, be is going to be. This is what you say to us, right? B is going to be okay. I, actually, I challenge you to find one thing. Allah, He says, B and it was. The angel, He went to, to Moses for what? To, to do the, the order of Allah. So Allah, He says, Moses die. Oh, obviously, Allah, He cannot kill anybody because it's not about B. He have to send somebody to do it. And the proof in the front of you. The angel of death, He went to Moses, and Moses, He played karaoke. <laughs> hit him in the eye and the guy the angel of death his eye came out he went back to Allah question did your God Allah gave the angel enough training no did the angel of Allah give him by Allah enough power obviously no so Allah is hiring a potato to do the job what kind of God he hired such an angel I mean, we send an angel to take the life of a Jew. His name is Moshe. Moshe, he beat the angel of Allah. And the angel of Allah, he go holding the eye in his hand, crying to Allah. <laughs> Look what the... <laughs> Let us blame the Jews. Are you all talking about? Are you, are you there, truth seeker? Did you sleep? To sell, to tell my God, spread hate between... What? What? Hold on, hold on. Uh, between a woman and a parent. What, uh, sir? Uh, you see, a uh, truth seeker, you are being silly. He's saying, uh, God, he made hatred and enmity. No, it's uh, God, he is saying that because you became this, you commit sin, you will be out of heaven and shaitan will be your enemy because he's your enemy already. So you're being silly. However, as long as you are the one who mentioned this, and I will make you be sorry for it, isn't it Allah who opened a school to teach black magic so Allah will divorce the wife from her husband? Harry Booter? Have you ever heard of a stupid God like this? God, he sent two angels. Their name is Harut and Marut. And they open Harry Potter school. And they teach magic. And before they teach magic, before you join the school, they will make you sign a disclaimer, 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 disclaimer. Okay, we are going to teach you magic to divorce a wife from the husband. But you need to know that this is the trial. Do you agree? What the heck? Are you there, Mr. Truth? Are you there? Have you ever heard of a stupid story more than this? Muhammad, he took it from the legions. That there's two angels are the one behind divorce because why a man he married a woman they are in love what happened to a, a year after or six months after they are fighting and they are angry from each other so it's a magic they blame everything for a magic somebody somebody put a spell on you so muhammad now using his extreme high knowledge from allah allah teaching him allah he sent two angels teaching men magic their name is harut and marut now do you want me to tell you the story of harut and marut Anyone remember what Harut and Marut did, guys? 
Harut and Marut are angels sent by Allah to the earth. And then when they went down to the earth, they met a woman. Anyone remember her name? Who remember her name? <clears throat> because they forgot? <laughs> well, hold on. If somebody forgot, you guide him, you stupid. If somebody forgot, you remind him, you stupid. You don't, you, you don't misguide him more. So why Allah sent the Prophet Muhammad then if he is, was Muhammad a Prophet sent to guide people or to misguide? If somebody forgot, remind him. Lead him, teach him. Don't make him more, more misguided. I mean, this is a stupid argument. You see, when Jesus, they, they said to him, why you are speaking to those sinners? He said, I came for the sick one. Jesus said, I came for the sick one. The Jews, they were like proud. But how you talk to those people? Those people are low, low down. He said, I came for the sinners. I came for the sick one. So look what you are saying to me. Your God, Allah, you are saying that we are sick and Allah will make us more sick. Actually, the Quran says that Allah will increase sickness in our heart. For Allah is the devil because this is the job of the devil. He don't want you to see the truth. And not only that, the Quran, we will go back to the, the story here of Harut and Marut because this is funny. I don't think you can escape it. <clears throat> Here we find uh, another stupid story. Why Christian prince don't believe in Islam? Why? And the answer in the Quran, look at your stupid God. Have you ever heard of a stupid God more than this? Read this. Allah has set a seal on their heart and on their hearing and their eyes and veil. No, 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 no. So the reason they will not believe because Allah, he put a seal in their eyes. So why you want to punish them? I make you blind and I'm going to punish you for being blind. Do you see it? Not only that, Allah the deceiver, he will deceive the Muslims. If you go to chapter 3, verse number 7. It says that Allah He sent the Quran, but the Quran is not a book of, a book of guidance. No, Quran have two two things. There's a clear uh, uh, passages, or let us say uh, chapters, and there's a, a chapters would make you sick. Read it. Allah He sent the book to deceive. It's called Quran. It is He who sent down to thee the book. Which book? The Quran. In it are verses basically fundamental. For establishing for meaning, what does that mean? Stupid. They are the foundation of the book. What book? You don't even have a book. And what is the what, which ones are the foundation? Tell me. So now we have to search. Okay. And others are what? Are stupid. What do you mean by saying this? There's verses nobody understand them? Why? Look what look look what he said. But those who is their heart. They are sick in their heart. Let me change the translation. It's weird. Those who have a sickness in their heart, they will use them. But, but, but this is the book for the Muslims. It's not us who will follow it. It is the Muhammadan. Those who they are thinking, look at this guy, he says polytheism. False because the polytheism, they don't read the Quran. They don't care for the Quran. And then they are seeking the meaning of them. And nobody knows the mean of those verses save Allah. So why he sent them? They look stupid madness. So Allah he deceive you. And Allah he deceive you even if you are a Muslim, if you follow the book. Because there is verses in the Quran, they are misleading verses. And nobody knows their meaning save Allah. What is this? I will tell you what happened. Muhammad, he do not know how to explain those verses. He's a thief. He got the book of Waraq ibn Nufal. He's copying from there. And they ask him what those mean. He says, no, uh, Allah knows best. Now we go back to the story of Harut and Marut. Guys, do you know, do you, do you want to know the story of Harut and Marut? It's very, very beautiful. But you have to be over the age of 18 or 6 if you are a Muslim. Because according to them, if you are 6, you are horny and you are adult. Allah, he sent two angels. Their name is Harut and Marut. And when they went down to the earth, they met a woman, her name, and you want to remember? 
<clears throat> what is the name of the women who remember? Anyone remember? Venus. And this is how you know Islam is nothing but a fabrication. Venus. They met Venus. Venus, really? Are you sure? <laughs> Let me find you the story. Hold on. Give me a second. <coughs> oh, boy. Garbage in, garbage out. What you can say? Garbage in, garbage out. Harut and Marut. I need to find it. Um, okay, give me a second because this story alone is enough to prove what Islam is. Islam is nothing but collection of madness and garbage. Marut, Marut, all right. This is your Muslim website, alislam.org. In the account of Harut and Marut. Okay, what happened in the account of Harun and Marut? Harut and Marut. Allah, He sent two angels. Their name is Harut and Marut in the Tower of the Babylon. And they met with the women. Her name is Venus. And this woman, Venus, she told them they are, she is very hot. Brother. You will not believe it. I mean, they are really, really, really hot. Huh? Let us read together so people will not say. Hmm. Then he will remove the curtain from the sky and they may. Uh, no, 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 because Allah, he lived, by the way, in the top of the Babylon Tower. You see? Allah will remove the curtain where Allah, he lived, in the top of the Babylon. Read it. And there. This is why the angels will land down in the Babylon Tower, brother. True story. And there we will see the following story. Here we go. Let us search for... So when the angels, they came down, when they came to the earth, they saw a very beautiful woman advancing toward them those are two angels remember those are two is the text clear guys you can read it let me try to zoom better so a woman she is so beautiful she is so hot I mean, so, so hot, man. Actually, I heard she have seven nipples. I don't know. Some, some people, they say eight. I'm not sure about the number of the nipples. This is how hot she is. She was fully adorned, uh, performed, and her face was unveiled. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Now the two angels, they had thought about the women. Like, what the heck? Those are angels or they are BB, uh, boys of, uh, of uh, Rimi Hijab? Angels, they want to have sex with the women? Like what? That they were forbidden to them. They discussed it between themselves and decided to talk, uh, to walk away from the temptation. Look how hot she is. Even the angels want to sleep with her. Me. I, live, I think I did. I am born in the wrong time, man. After walking a few steps, passion overpowered them. 
they returned to the women and asked her to allow them to do boom boom like what the heck angels of Allah he sent them to open a school to teach magic they are asking a the woman they just met her to do boom boom with her if this is what the angels do no wonder Muhammad is doing that all over I mean you can't trust anyone these days even angels man you leave you leave your wife with the angels they will do boom boom to her your mom with the angels they will do uh, especially they are Muslim angels what you can what you expect those are Muslim angels like hello so they wanted to have sex with her the woman she said my religion and she have a religion oh boy does not allow me to lie to lie with I would with you look how conservative she is she must be Shia she do muta but you have to pay until you adopt my religion ah she is a Shia okay they inquired her religion she said I can only fulfill the desire of one who worships my Allah oof 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 oof, oof. here we go this woman she have Allah too there's many Allah your Allah my Allah everybody have Allah Allah for every citizen sound like election day and then who prostrate before my Allah and she pointed toward the idol ah, Allah is an idol mashallah saying this is my Allah the angel looked one another like like look at each other like boing and like <clears throat> he said okay this is two sin now it's not one it became two so they want to have sex with her man they are desperate but she want us to uh, become polytheism and another adultery they consulted again but the desire evil take the man she is so hot i mean come on i mean we have thank god i'm not born on that day i don't know what i would do Thank God I am not the angel who Allah sent from the Babylon. By the way, I don't like the Babylon Tower. I mean, what about uh, Eiffel Tower in Paris? It's nicer and there's elevator. A anyway, let it go. So they said to the women, we are agreeable. What, what? Agreeable? The angel, they agree to bow down to the idol so they can have sex with her. Do you see what women can do, my friend? Oh boy, even angels mean. I wonder what her name was Susu, Mimi, Fufu. Oof. I don't want to think about it. Already I'm sweating, man. So they say to the women, We are agreeable. Then she said, As you prepared to bow before the idol. You must drink wine. Like, what the heck with this story? Each time they add a new chapter. <laughs> I mean, you can tell the story is true. I mean, there's no way that this story is not true. I mean, who dare to say it's not true? Who dare? Do you dare? Hello? You have to drink wine? Why not beer? I mean, why, why Islam is stuck with wine? There's, uh, Muhammad, he never heard of any Hennekin. Hennekin. What? Hennekin. And now she's asking them to drink a beer. The angel consulted again. Like, look at those angels, man. Like me, you know, the, the, what is that? And then, uh, but, but Muslims, don't you think this is stupid because supposedly wine is not forbidden for angels? Why is forbidden? I mean, even Muhammad, he was drinking wine and the Muslims used praying. And after that, uh, they were forbidden. This is a long time story. This is way before Muhammad. Why, they are, why, why wine is forbidden at that time? Let us continue. And then, <clears throat> uh, to make the story shorter, I mean, this is going really crazy. Suddenly, they, they took off their clothes. Look, they took off their panties, those angels. Oh boy. And they want to do boom boom. The second they did that, a beggar, like homeless, you know, like money please, money please, 
entered the place and they asked him who are you like what i mean look how exciting this story two angels sent from the seven galaxies beyond the seven seas next to the seven pharmacies and they do everything this woman she want and now it's time to have boom boom and suddenly this guy you're like do you have a sandwich and he had a, come on i mean you're coming in the wrong time but you think uh, let me tell you this beggar he came in the right time because now they have to pay him to get rid of him so uh, and uh, he said to them but look look who said to them he said to them they asked him who are you and why have you come here he replied your conditions make me doubt about your intention like what the heck detective columbus what this is this is allah he told the most in this story allah is writing down everything brother the beggar he said that your condition makes me doubt about your intention you are fearful and frightened and yet you have brought this woman to solitary place ah, ah i got you why you bring this woman alone here why <laughs> i know why because you want her to do laundry is that right uh the angel he said uh, mm, <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so now this guy he's playing smart he's telling them, i know what you want to do you want to do boom boom i know your attention surely you are evil follows those are angels of allah what then that woman told the two i swear by my allah this man knows you and he is aware of your place where your place they have a house now he knew he knew their address he got their address he got their ip he got their pictures i mean he know everything and has gone disgrace both you and me oof, 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 oof. the woman she is worried about her reputation because her panty was off and she have half of the bra coming out i mean guys this is really i'm so thankful for allah to teach me this knowledge brother and brother and sisters if you are a muslim and you want to do boom boom be sure next time you lock the windows and the door otherwise a beggar will get in I mean, how the beggar get inside the house? If we ask Zakir Naik, <clears throat> for sure Zakir Naik gave an answer. Teredem, 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 teredem. Christian Prince, I told you don't call me. And I'm listening to you. And I'm going to give you the answer, but please don't call me again. Okay, Zakir Naik, why? How this man, he got in? Very simple. At the old days, they, they don't used to have doors like us. They used to use curtain. They use curtain? Yes, because they are living in a tent, you idiot. It's a tent. It's at a house. And don't call me again, okay? You are stupid. Okay. I, I think you got a point, Zach and I. Sorry, I apologize. You, you, you beat me here. <sighs> and now the women, she told them, go after this guy and <coughs> and kill him <coughs> i will not get close to you so we can do boom boom with you unless you go and kill him first oh boy well i don't blame them if i was there i would kill them for this <laughs> You must kill him first so that me not be able to disgrace you, disgrace us. And come then come back and then we can do whatever you wish, like boom boom, noom noom, yum yum. You know whatever you want. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, like eat hummus. At once the two ran after the man and killed him. Look at this man. Angels of Allah, they are coming down to the earth when I have sex with the women and they are killing people just for the sakes of this uh, private part. When they returned, they did not find the women. Oops! Like what? 
the women she is gone they found that suddenly their clothes had faded down oh, oh. <laughs> like point point the panties is coming down like and they became naked and they began to bite their fingers like I mean, uh, I'm, uh, to be honest with you this is not only a true story this is beyond beyond the truth this is beyond truth now the story by the way have many versions this is one of the versions of the story now uh, the other version of the story which is most more, more accurate because there's witnesses there come on <laughs> uh, and by the way the Russian behind it uh, you know they stole the email of Hillary uh, Trump and Trump you know the Russian you know stuff you know they just uh, uh, Wikipedia and Wikileaks and you know like things like you know anyway so uh, the, the, in the in different version of the story this woman she asked him to give them the password so she can go to heaven to where to heaven she need a password yes brother password uh, let me because I, I don't want to read I mean there's tons of stories but here you will see read with me carefully and here you will see where Islam is coming from this is star Venus was a very beautiful woman she had gone one of two those the, uh, of those two angels for obtaining some kind of decision <clears throat> at the very first first sight of her the angels fell in love <laughs> yeah my boy venus the star venus yes brother now before i continue the story anyone have an idea according to islam how the star Venus became a star? As long they are saying she's a woman. Anyone knows? Anyone knows? How this is star she became a star? If she's a woman. Simply, she asked him for a password and they wanted to sleep with her so they would give her the password to go to the heaven. And when this Venus, woman Venus, she started going up in the heaven, Allah, he got alarmed like wee 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 he cursed her and he made her a star and that star is called venus now who dare to say this is not a true story be honest i mean how in the world any of you will not convert to islam after this venus was a woman my friend she wanted to go to the heaven of allah by stealing a password from two angels because they want to have sex with her. And that explain <clears throat> why Venus looked like this sometime. I think this is the makeup. I'm not sure. Is that the lipstick or the eyeliner? man oh man sometime it look red i think this is lipstick hmm. you know what i never thought about this i was like why venus why venus she have those coloring but because we are ignorant we never thought about it that this is a woman she cursed when became a star like i mean allah he cursed her make her a star at least curse her make her a rat how come the Jews, you cursed them for fishing, you made them pigs and monkeys? This woman, she slept with two angels and she stole your password and yet you make her a star? Like, hello? Unbelievable. What do you think? How many of you convinced with this Venus who came and she took the password? So the women she promised, look here it says, they feel in love at the first sight, they feel in love, the angels. And they told her the truth is with you and my judgment will be in your favor. But only when you give me a control over you. 
look what this woman she want the women promised to do so and fixed time to meet with them like okay tomorrow we will meet at 5 p.m you know i will make i will move the curtain for you so you can get in so the neighbors will not see you blah 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 then she went in the other angel and the same thing happened ah she is dating two guys two angels at the same time man she can get two gifts in the same time <laughs> unbelievable so she went to the first angel she told him i'm going to meet you i love you and the guy he said to her i'm crazy about you and then she went to the other guy and she told him the same and now she gave appointment a date for the other guy and she told him call me baby so then what happened with him she gave him also the same promise and fixed time to meet uh, uh, for them to meet when both the angels reached the venue at the appointment time they saw one another like hello i got you busted she made appointment in the same place for both guys in the same time so they can see each other true story i mean women they can do that to you be, be careful by the way brother be careful and then uh and that brought shame on them but soon decency went away from them and they said one to another <laughs> I have come here for some purpose, same purpose for which you have come for. Both ought the women to allow them to have sex. What? Is that a three something? Two angels, one woman? Three some of Allah, the angel of Allah, they would have a three some. With her, she made them prostrate before her idol. Mean. And made them drink wine. And get the bigger killed for them this is almost the same story as the one before but here there is more details and then uh, uh, here now those two angels used to decide people dispute during the day and go up to the heaven at night so during their time they work in dispute between people in the earth at night they go to heaven they refuse to teach the women how to go to heaven and she returned, did not fulfill their desire, which means you will not have sex unless you tell me. At least the angels agree to the last wish of the women. Also taught her how to go up to heaven. Like you can't, you can't teach me how to do that. Are you serious? In order to experiment, she altered the word taught by them and at once reached the heaven. Like she said, like, shakalu, kakalu, lalalu. Like, you know, words. You have to say, they told her, you have, you have to say, you have to say those words, okay? Repeat after us. Chili, hummus, falafel, chocolate, 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 three times chocolate, five times falafel. And then she said that, and right away, the women, she went up to heaven. Brother. While the two they stood up wide eyed, Allah turned the women into a star. Allahu Akbar. You think you finish women, you can go to heaven without Allah's permission? Here we go. Allah, He curse you, He make you a star. And this is where the story of Venus coming from. I hope, kids, you enjoy it and you tell your parents and your mommy and your daddy about this beautiful story which is taught by, by Prophet Muhammad. Uh, Muslim, they will say, where, where, where? It says, who, who is the one who told this story? All of his time is coming from where? From one guy. No witnesses, nobody, nothing. One guy, his name is Muhammad. He's a madman. Isn't it amazing? This is Islam. So, my friends, if Islam is convincing for you, good for you. For me, I find Islam is nothing but a joke. It's a stupid. It's made by a fool for the fool. And now the Muslims, they try to hide those books from you. But all their belief is based on those books. And now the Muslims, they start saying, oh, this is Daif, and this is a Fishi, and this is Lummi, and this is... Those were good stories for the last 14 centuries. Today, people are getting more educated. 
smarter and Muslims in order to hide the shame of their prophet who is a false prophet obviously they start saying oh he did not say that this is not from him this is a story said by somebody you know well the Quran in front of you it's your God saying that Allah he sent two angels to teach magic so the man he, he divorced his wife and imagine guys God he sent two angels in a mission and what is the mission to open a school to teach black magic which is going to cause a wife and husband to separate do you see it what kind of God does God is so if this is what God do, do for living what the devil do is is causing a man and his wife to be divorced is something good you tell me so I want to say thank you for everybody for being here and uh, again you know uh, I hope uh, uh, our problem with those Abdus who they are trying to stop us from broadcasting is over they will not be able to stop us uh, we will be more careful in the future I, I bought more equipment uh, yeah but uh, God is good no problem <clears throat> this is what his money is made for right no problem you made us to spend more money no problem but you cannot stop us so I want to say thank you guys for being here this is my minds uh, uh, the website mind.com slash Christian Prince you can subscribe there this is our backup page this is my Instagram please uh, subscribe if you are using it and those are other sites you can use them uh, this is where we post our uh, videos in Patreon like when we delete the uh, the the video the original video from my page we update a link there so you can find it always so i want to say thank you for being here may the lord bless you and i hope venus will not come to any of you in your in her in your way going back to your wife otherwise you see what will happen i mean you see in saudi arabia they found that the number of divorce is increasing so crazy because of porn channels the guy he go open the tv he see a woman there then he go to the bedroom he look at his wife he look at the woman at the porn station and he get he cannot compare so he go for divorce and this is exactly this is exactly what evil is about evil is about to take you away from right decision and following your temptation and this is a god who have no dignity his name is Muhammad he come with the stories to explain to us stupid reasons for divorce it's Allah sending angels to teach black magic not only he has shown us that he is evil because that's mean Allah is the one behind divorce and Allah is the one who caused divorce but he's shown us that he have a low IQ and he's stupid to believe in such stories because obviously this is a story he heard before this is from all Dijans about this is why you see the names of the angels are not Arabic names Harut and Arut or, or, uh, Marut. all the names of the angels in Islam are not Arabic because everything in Islam is not from the Arab belief Allah is not an Arabic word Jibreel is not an Arabic word Musa is not Arabic word Israel not Arabic word Israfil not Arabic word I mean you name it there's nothing in Islam have to do with the Arab either starting from the Jews or the Sabian or the Christians or the Hindus as simple as that so thank you for being here may the Lord bless you and until we see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false and we get it busted every time we go live on air take care bye bye